Hey y'all, it's Mommy Wata and I am back. Let's hop right into the message for a king or queen, zodiac or element. Let's see who the Holy Spirit has a message for. That was Aquarius and water signs. Let's keep going. Holy Spirit, can we get one? One card, please, and thank you, Holy Spirit. Who do you have a message for at this time? It says Aquarius. So let's see what the messages are for my Aquarius Collective, okay? I hope you all are doing good at this time. Thank you so much for your support of this channel. And let's just see. Let's see. Holy Spirit, what are the messages for my Aquarius Collective at this time? Please and thank you, Holy Spirit. What is it that you would like for them to know? Somebody might be pregnant or about to have a baby. Okay, out of my Aquariuses. Let's see. Let's get... One of y'all may be dealing with the cancer. Cut the deck on cancer. But let's see, Holy Spirit, what are the oracle messages for my Aquarius Collective at this time? Please and thank you. What would you like for them to know? Man up or leave me alone. This is the energy that... One of y'all are in, and it could be because you are expecting a child with someone and you want them to boss up, man up, be grateful is out here. What else, Holy Spirit? Do my yoga, drink my water, mind my business. Okay. <clears throat> I feel like whoever you are, Aquarius, you know your worth. You're worried about yourself. You're grateful for who you are. You know what you have to offer. And you're not trying to convince anyone of that. With this, do my yoga, drink my water, and mind my business. Okay? You taking care of you. You can take it or leave it with this, whoever this masculine energy is. Okay, but they're saying that they still love you, Aquarius. I feel like you may have been giving this person a cold shoulder because they, they haven't acted grateful for the connection with you. And it's running them crazy. 5150, child. Okay. Whoever this is, Aquarius. It's running them ragged that you not giving them the time of day. You're not giving them any attention. Shit has hit the ceiling. Somebody mad. Okay. So whoever this is that would man up Aquarius, they about can't take it that you're not paying them any attention. That you're not acting like you're grateful for them. Okay, it's something like that here as well. This person has an ego issue. They feel like you should be acting like you are lucky to deal with them when in actuality it's the other way around. Okay, and they're realizing that. Anything else from my Aquarius Collective Holy Spirit? Lost. This is coupling with that 5150 energy. This person don't know what to do. They don't know how to get you back interested or invested in them. But what they could do to make you even give them the time of day again, Aquarius, is to man up. To do the right thing by you. To be grateful for you. Geisha vibes came out here. I feel like this person... <clears throat> Is realizing how unique and special you are. That you have qualities that other people do not possess. There's something very mysterious about you, Aquarius. This person is realizing that. During this time of separation between the two of y'all. This person may have thought that you were something that was easily rep replaceable. But they're seeing how unique you are with this Geisha Vibes energy. Because geishas are very rare. It's something about your qualities that are very rare. We have Sneaky Link that came out here. 
I feel like this masculine got caught up with a sneaky link. And now that you you don't want to do no, have nothing to do with him. He running behind you and the sneaky the sneaky link might be mad about it. Clarify the sneaky link, Holy Spirit, please and thank you. Pyrite protection. What I just say, she might be mad about it. You may need to protect yourself spiritually from a sneaky link, a third party this masculine was dealing with while he was dealing with you. Because now that he's not getting what he wanted out of you, he's not desiring this person as much. DM. Now this masculine believes that you are his, that he's your divine counterpart. This man going through it in limbo. This man going through it because you have cut him out of your life, Aquarius. Giving him the cold shoulder. Got him all fucked up. Okay? So let's get some insight on it, child. Aquarius, what y'all done did to this man? <laughs> what y'all done did? This man, he don't know what to do. He don't want to fuck with nobody else but you. He is pressed, honey. It's too much energy of press energy, press behavior out here. 5150, loss. Shit has hit the ceiling. Somebody mad. I still love you, okay? He ain't trying to let you go. It's given obsessed. So, Holy Spirit, what is the tarot message that you would like for us to receive? From my Aquarius Collective, please and thank you, Holy Spirit. What is the tarot clarity that we need to get from these oracle messages? What else would you like for my Aquarius to know? Let's see, let's see, let's see, ladies. <laughs> Y'all got somebody twisted, child. Eight of Pentacles. Because you. this is you. This is you minding your business. Worrying about yourself, working on yourself, not paying attention to none of this other mess that may be going on in this masculine's life. And this masculine can't stand it, that you're not paying any attention to him, okay? You are so unbothered. That's what this girl in this, this, girl in this car looked like. She's so unbothered. King of Wands. There you go. More unbothered energy. A king of wands is definitely not pressed by no energy, whether it's masculine or feminine. They are so well-rounded. They are so secure in who they are and what they have going on that they don't care who likes them, who don't like them. They're going to continue to put in work. They're going to remain independent of the of the opinions of others and they're going to keep living life how they want to unapolog unapologetically a king of wands is unapologetic you justice this is how you're winning just by not allowing yourself to be part of a low vibrational connection okay this masculine most definitely could be a king of pentacles all this pinnacle energy out here. Because I feel like you were invested in him at one point. Now you putting all that energy into yourself. And I'm telling you, when you pull your energy back from, an, from someone who ain't realized how much they were depending on your energy, it will run them about crazy now, Aquarius. And this is what has happened here. I'm picking up on it. This king of pinnacles was somehow feeding off of your energy. He was. We have the food. <clears throat> now that you've left him behind, now that you've moved on and you're paying attention to yourself, you loving on yourself, you could care less who this sneaky link is, what they got going on, how often they hook up with this king of pentacles, you no longer care. Maybe you did at one point, but you don't now. And that's what's got him bothered. Four of wands. Because you are free. Four of Wands talks about freedom. Freedom to move and do and be where and who and with whoever you want to be with. 
doing whatever you want to do. You're free to build a foundation anywhere you choose. This man know that because this man knows how if you invest in somebody, what the outcome could be because you were investing in this masculine, this king of pentacles here, you were investing in him. Knight of swords, Aquarius energy. This man knows that if you decide to take action in whichever way that is, you are going to be ambitious enough to make something happen in your favor to get results. At times, the Knight of Swords can talk about someone who is angry and causes destruction in other people's lives. And maybe this man was expecting you to get angry and to react to this sneaky link energy. Okay, but you don't care. You're choosing to take action in another direction. And that's to improve yourself, your self-worth, your self-esteem. Ace of Wands, your opportunities in life. You have a new passion and desire for yourself. Okay, 1111 when I was saying that. I'm telling you, somebody in my Aquarius Collective, they could care less. Who, what, when, where, why, or how. Because you've already cared enough before. And this person was not showing their appreciation for you. We have temperance energy. So now you're choosing to balance things in a way that brings harmony and a peace of mind to yourself. That don't include being in no third party situationship. Can we get more insight on this King of Pentacles and this sneaky link? Because I'm picking up that this King of Pentacles is not the only one that's mad, Aquarius, okay? The sneaky link is also mad because they're not getting the attention they used to get when he was dealing with you, which is weird. Because now that he got more free time, you would think he would want to go and spend more time with whoever else, right? Hell no. This man is spending less time with these other women, 12-12, because he's realizing how lackluster, how dehabilitated even he is by not having you in his life. Clarify, Holy Spirit. I'm telling you, this sneaky link is pissed. She liked being a sneaky link because it was like the thrill of him having her as a sneaky link was guaranteeing that she was going to have some type of connection with him. Okay, but now that he don't even, he can't use her as no sneaky link because you ain't there. This woman is pissed. We have four swords. He he might have been down about late to this connection to rest child with this sneaky link here behind you. I'm telling you, four pinnacles right behind that. This man has withdrawn from this woman, and this caused some sort of emotional instability in her. Okay? That she may even be doing some spell work. Because this masculine here this king of pentacles he may in fact be your dm this why he tripping so hard aquarius he tripping so hard because he's starting to realize that maybe aquarius is my divine feminine you are not even out here really in your true form because you ain't got time for this that's why the first card out was man up or leave me alone you're done trying to prove yourself to this individual and if he can't see it on his own, then he ain't meant to see it. That's where some of y'all are at, okay? But this man see it. This man see it. He sees that he is who he is because of you. And if he ever wants to fully emasculate this Ace of Pentacles energy, he has to boss up for his divine feminine, Okay? Because this is your DM. Whoever I'm talking about, this your divine masculine now. Ten of wands. So he know he had to cut this sneaky link off. That's why she pissed. Up your spiritual protection. Ask God to pray and ask God to protect you from known and unknown, seen and unseen enemies. People who want to cause you to be in the three of swords because they're in the three of swords. From this action that your DM took. Because he ain't trying to let you go Aquarius. 
and you so far removed from this shit, like you really have went into some type of hermit. I'm focused on me mode, the world, okay? Aquarius energy as well with this world card. You truly got your head in the clouds. You ain't worried about in the sense of that you're not delusional or you don't know what's going on, but you are only focused on you. You in La La Land, you in your own bubble, doing you. And you're having success. You're having justice. The world is falling right up under justice. Okay? And also, I really feel like this is why this man wants to reconnect with you as well. And the Holy Spirit says that's the truth. Because he, <clears throat> he's been awakened to who you truly are. Y'all were in the five of pentacles before. That's because this man was still in his karmic energy. This man was not seeing you as the divine feminine that you are to him. But since you have truly disconnected and let his ass see what it's like to not experience the energy of the person who was made to be equally yoked for them, he can't about take it, y'all. This man in the Eight of Swords, y'all think I'm playing. Meanwhile, you over here in, in the sun, chilling, ain't tripping, ain't stressing, and it's because you decided to make this positive change in your life. You're having a victory. And this, this change that you made, it made this King of Pentacles change. Y'all are mirroring each other in a way. Because he's letting go of what's not good for him as well. He's moving forward. Okay? He didn't move forward away from this four of, pen four of swords, four of pentacles, two of swords. This high priest is here. This woman could be a Pisces here that he was dealing with, this sneaky link. But she's emotionally unstable. She is. Does Aquarius need to be aware of anything about this two of pentacles high priestess holy spirit but he didn't left her behind so if she out here doing anything it's because she trying to get this man attention he, she's trying to get this man to accept an offer from her again this man ain't extending no offers to her he's on his way to extend an offer to you this man is going to communicate with you, Aquarius, and he's going to tell you that he wants to revitalize this connection. That he's no longer dealing with this person. He wants you to be his, his divine counterpart, his wife, wifey, wife, loyal and faithful, and dedicated and committed partner. That's what he's going to be to you. This card is so pretty. Look at that crown on her head. It almost looks like the end of a shell. How they got her hair. That's pretty. I'm telling you though. I'm telling you ladies. That's the plan. He been watching you too. He been, this man definitely. It has earth. He is a definitely. An earth. Sun, moon or rising. For sure. For sure. All this pinnacle energy out here. This is your divine masculine, okay? Any final messages, Holy Spirit? I don't feel like you got nothing to be worried about with this Two of Pentacles High Priestess. This woman is at a distance from you, and this woman is in the hangman. Anything that she try to send towards a divine union or divine counterparts at this point in the game is going to bounce right back to that ass anyway, okay? Five of Swords. She already defeated if she is planning to do something. Six of Swords. The universe going to calmly move her ass off to calmer waters. And you and this masculine are going to be able to move on and transition to this new start in your life. 1919. Y'all are about to celebrate. So, you know, we just can't give them no more energy than they deserve. Especially when the universe, the most high God and the Holy Spirit is showing y'all. It ain't nothing that you need to even be worried about. Just like you ain't been worried about the sneaky link. Don't start worrying about them now, child. Keep doing you. Keep doing exactly what you're doing. Because what you are doing is bringing in your divine masculine. And you and this man are about to celebrate. And that's just period. For some of y'all, this masculine is going to ask you to marry him. 
okay? It's too much evidence of it out here. That's This is how much this epiphany about you, who you are has changed this man. Like, for whoever this is, some people can have something drastic and, you know, life-altering happen to them and it makes them want to change. And some people can have something drastic and life-altering that happens to them and they keep staying the fuck the way they is, okay? But whoever this DM is, whoever this King of Pentacles is, because he went from a King of Pentacles to an ace of pentacles after he laid this sneaky link situation to rest. Okay? That's how ready he is for you. That's how much this man has changed. Because this man was on some old about to lose his mind shit about you, Aquarius. Just know that. So, he definitely is one of them who he don't want to be a player no more. King of Cups out here now. He want to love and nurture you and only you. He don't give a fuck about what nobody else say or think about it. And he ain't invested in anyone else like he was when you were trying to invest in him. This man has definitely turned over a new leaf. Out of 21, 21, when I look back over here, because I'm telling you, this is your divine masculine here. Okay? This is your DM. Anything else for my Aquarius is nine of cups. This man could also have water somewhere prominently in his chart as well. But this man is about to come in and make your wishes come true. He's prepared to do this. He wants to do this and he's executing this as well. Okay. Anything else for my Aquarius is anything else. Holy spirit. We have the page of pentacles and we have the Ten of Cups. Like I said, continue to keep doing what you're doing with this Page of Pentacles. Con continue to keep working on yourself. You may have picked up a new line of study, like going back to school or learning a new trade, a hobby, whatever you're doing, Aquarius, keep doing it. Because this is going to bring you right, walk you, lead you. Right into the future that you desire. And that's this future with your DM. Because baby you love your DM now. Just cause you didn't cut his ass off. Don't mean that you ain't still fucking with him like that. Cause you do. But it's only if he's going to man up. Man up. And this man is manning up. Okay. And I think I'm gonna drop the mic there. Y'all energy ain't come out here like I said. I already had heard that from the beginning. You're not showing up any way for this man until he shows up for you. So this is how he's planning to do that. And this is how th these are the steps that he's already taken to do that. Okay. But if it doesn't apply, please let it fly. Take only what resonates. Leave the rest and I'll be back soon with another one. Peace y'all.